Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel once again, which is all about architecture, engineering, and real estate in Uganda. Uh, my name is Christian Edgar, and I'm back with yet another exciting video. In today's video, we have a simple structure here uh, that we did the roofing job, as you can see. So we only did the roofing job here on this structure. Yes, because the shell wasn't built by us. Yeah, because the client got us when they have already done the shell of this structure but the problem that they had was that uh, um, they didn't have the design first now it is very important that you always have a design before you it is very important that you always have a design before you actually start the construction process because it is out of that design that uh, will help you to have everything implemented on ground yes so first and foremost I always advise that you have an architectural design on ground before you start the construction of any project. Now here, uh, of course, they did the shell of this structure, but then when they reached on the roofing phase, they were confused a bit on what to do next. So this is how I came in, and then uh, we had to design the roof of this structure and then see how it is going to look like. Now after the design, we were able to have it implemented on site, as you can see. Yes. Now. The importance of a design is that you avoid that guesswork. I've always told you this always and always. Yes, you avoid that guesswork on site. Yes, the fact that you have a design on ground because it is the design that you actually follow. Yes, to have a structure like this built. Now, um, so here is the design that we came up with after after us visiting, carrying out the site visit, and then looked at the structure that was on ground then took the measurements as they were on ground, then came and started drafting the building the way it is on ground. Yes, because it is important for you to have working drawings on site. Yes, it will help you have a clear understanding with the client. Yes, uh, he told us the kind of roof that he wanted us to uh, roof his structure with. But with that, we, all, we, we had first uh, draw it, design it in the CAD softwares, then present it to him, then he had to give it a thumbs up and he's like, yeah, that is what I exactly want. Now we came up and uh, designed the structure just the way it is on ground, then after us designing the kind of roof that we wanted, yes, we of course came and implemented it on ground. Yes, it is very important that you always first come up with it with the design of the structure, yes, because it is important that you have those working drawings on site. They help you a lot, like a lot, yes. So um, with that, the client was able to see what kind of design that he really wants first in the three days before we implemented it. Because the fact that the client wanted an EVO of 1.8 meters, yes, on this very side of the building, that is why we made these provisional columns, steel columns that you've been seeing in the video. Yes, we had to have these columns. We had to have these columns, uh, yes, we had to have these columns created. The fact that he wanted an EVO of 1.8 meters, this side, and also he wanted this heap to cover the staircases, which would make it 1.8 meters, because these staircases are 1.2 meters plus an additional heap of 600, because our eaves were all 600. So that makes it 1.8 meters this side. That's why we had to have this column, yes, introduced so that it can give the extra support to the roof above, yes. So with that, after us doing the design very well, now we went ahead and started implementing it when we clearly know how it is going to look like. Yes, and these impressions, uh, these designs, they guide also the technicians on what to do. Yes, so it is important that you first have a design before you start on any construction project. It is so, so important that you have a design before you start on any construction project. All right. So the, this is the 3D for the structure. And uh, with the client's eyes confirming that, yeah, this is actually what I want, uh, we had to start on the implementation of the roof. And here we are, as you're going to see how best we did the roof. 
in this video stay tuned for more all right so let's quickly go through the materials that uh, we bought and used to finish this the roof structure of this very building i'll go for by two timbers this one is used for the wall plate is that wall plate timber that usually that is usually laid on top of the wall right after the outer panel i'll go 290 pieces each piece costs the last five thousand five hundred shillings I'll bought 4x3 timbers. 4x3 timbers bought 60 pieces. Each piece costed us 7,500 shillings. I'll bought 6 pieces. These are timings. 4x3 are timings. And uh, we bought 6x2. 6x2 so these are tie beams. They are the largest timber sizes that we use when moving a structure. I bought 67 pieces. And each piece uh, costed us 7,500 shillings. I uh, got buttons too, but buttons are the ones that are received at roofing quarters because they are the ones that are usually laid on top of the bench right on that to receive those roofing tiles. Uh, we bought 175 pieces and each piece costed 3,500 shillings. I uh, bought fascia boards. We used, here we use PVC fascia boards. I uh, bought 9 pieces. Each piece costed us uh, 70,000 70, Ugandan shillings. Um, we bought PVC grating. Uh, PVC grating we only bought 18 pieces. Each piece at uh, each piece was sold at uh, 6,000 Ugandan shillings. Upayan, Upayan, yes, we bought only seven rows at 35 Ugandan shillings, and we used it to, to add extra support to that wall plate timber. Yes, because on top of that wall plate timber is where the whole entire roof sits. Yes. Uh, for transport, we use 330,000 Ugandan shillings to transport this uh, timber materials to site. Um, then nails, nails we bought, we bought six inch nails, 13 kgs, uh, five inch nails, 10 kgs, four inch nails, 40 kgs, three inch nails, 18 kgs, 1.5 inch nails, uh, 19 kgs, and also roofing nails. We bought two kgs. Yes, only the roofing nails were the ones that had the price that is a bit high, which is 10,000 Ugandan shillings. But all these other nails were costing us 5,000 shillings each kgs. Um, so for roof covering, we bought roofing tiles. Roofing tiles we bought 1,750 1, pieces, and each piece costed us 4,000 Ugandan shillings. By the way, these are pretty piece roofing tiles. These are the tiles that the client specifically wanted to use on this building. Um, bridges, bridges we bought on 100 pieces, each piece costed us 4,100 shillings. We bought red oxide, red oxide we bought 10 pieces, uh, each piece costed us 10,000. Red oxide we bought 10 kgs and each kg was costing 10,000 Ugandan shillings. Yellow oxide we bought 10 kgs and each kg was costing 10,000 Ugandan shillings. Plain sheets, um, plain sheets we bought only 19 pieces and each piece was costed us 110,000 Ugandan shillings. Transport that we used to transport these uh, entails, these roofing tiles to site were 320,000 Ugandan shillings. Um, still going on ahead, um, for our ceiling, our ceiling motor casting, we bought cement 11 bags, expanded lacking metal 11, uh, expanded lacking metal, we bought 10 and a half bundles. Uh, we bought also sand, sand, we bought one and a half hour trips. Yes. Um, for the rainwater goods, we bought gutters, we bought eight pieces of gutters, and we bought joints, uh, joints, straw corners. Yes, those ones are the ones that we use to join these gutters in between. Yes, we bought only six pieces, and each piece costed us 8,000 Ugandan shillings. We bought corners, corners, we bought only four pieces, each at 18,000 Ugandan shillings. I bought brackets, brackets are the ones that uh support the gutter yes right in the usual place right beneath the gutter to support it yes uh they are anchored they are always anchored into the they are anchored into the fascia board yes, so that they can give extra support to the gutter yes uh so we bought 72 pieces and each piece costed us uh, four thousand one hundred Ugandan shillings I also bought down pipes. Down pipes, we bought five pieces. Each piece costed us 40,000 Ugandan shillings. Yes, we bought also outlets. Outlets, we bought only four pieces, and each piece costed us 13,500 Ugandan shillings. 
Yes, pipe clips to bought on the 16th. This says that it's risk cost that's 4,800 shillings. Yes, I also bought bands of 45 degrees, four pieces. HBS was at uh, uh, 8,000 Ugandan shillings. Then bands of 90 degrees to bought on the four pieces, and HBS was at uh, 12,000 Ugandan shillings. Uh, transport for all those materials cost the best 120,000 Ugandan shillings. Uh, you can get task poles. Yes, this one use them to erect scaffolds. Yes, that one used by those uh, roofers while they are doing that extension. Um, we bought only 26 pieces and each piece cost the last 1,000 Ugandan shillings. Now the subtitle for the materials is the materials cost the last 17 million seven hundred seventy thousand five hundred Ugandan shillings. Yes, in addition to that, we used labor of 7 million which mounted to a grand total of 24 million seven hundred seventy thousand five hundred Ugandan shillings. Now this is the amount of money that we used to have our whole entire roof done. So this is it for our roof structure now, now that you have seen yes, the main importance of the design is that you avoid that guesswork, you actually know what comes next. Now why these guys were a bit stuck when they reached on the roofing phase was because they didn't have a design first. So it is important that you first have a design, then you know what comes next after that. So we came in and then we had the structure roofed and that is the amount of money that we spent as you have seen it yeah thank you very much for all watching the channel i remain christian god bless you